Doc. The clock has started. Roger. No, you don't pay for the corn mazes. Of the bacon cheeseburger on the value menu. Welcome to the Good Stuff Morning Show. Here are your hosts, Kyle and Danny. Good morning, Kenny. Good morning, Kyle. It is so far. So far oh. as I deem it to be. W- w- which way is it heading? Positive or negative? You know, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a magnet where both of the sides are connected to the same thing. How do magnets work? You know, <laughs> not like that. Well, <laughs> maybe it's more. Maybe it's more like a like a battery, right? Huh? Both both ends need to be connected for it to just suck the life out of me. <laughs> uh, both po- both positives and and negatives. Hey. Uh, BuzzFeed has ranked the 21 best mall restaurants. They call themselves an expert, but we're here to absolutely demolish this article. I agree. I sent this to you many days ago. I, How I'm many? Pretty I, sure you posted this on Twitter. Okay. Well, you <laughs> uh, supposedly you you got to follow uh, morning show AM is the Twitter account. If you'd like to get the latest in hot food drama and that's pretty much it. That's all okay. I post these days. So get, go drop a follow. Is that right. what they say now? Sure. Uh, so we're going to start at what? 21. We are going to start with the supposed worst here. And okay. Uh, Believe it or not, it's coming in as Orange Julius. Yeah. Uh, is it is it ranked this low because it just doesn't offer very much? I don't know. Okay, well, I, let's find out what they say about it. They say, when I wanted something cold after trying too many cardigans at Aeropostale, Orange Julius was there. Though Orange Julius wasn't usually the mall spot that really, quote, did it for me. Their icy little concoctions still got the job done. So why the heck is it 21, lady? I think that part of in, in the, the image, the photo here is a bit telling, right? Orange they, Julius is, is almost always combined with the DQ. That's true, but you get blizzards at DQ, so. Right. Stop complaining. This person also says that they don't always have a huge variety and they'd opt for a place with more to choose from. So that's why it's so low. (laughs) Oh, no. Do you like Orange Julius? I do like Orange Julius. I do, too. I would take an Orange Julius over any other beverage in the entire mall at any moment of time. And is correct me if I'm wrong, but is isn't Orange Julius like mall exclusive? Like you can only Uh, get it at a mall? I cannot correct you because or I, an airport uh, that I do not know. Is there a standalone orange Julie? Let's do a little research while you get to the next one. Kyle. OK, please do. Uh, the next here is number 20 of 21 Sabaro. Yeah, that that uh, that makes sense. You really think so? Yeah, I don't. Uh, you know, as a kid, you, you, you get to look through the glass and you get to see that that they do pizza by the slice at the yeah. mall, mm-hmm. but you don't, but you're from an area which there's not that, that does that doesn't exist around you. Like they don't do pizza by the slice at other pizza places. Sure. Sabaro might be like the kitschy, cool pizza place with big pieces of pizza, but then you taste it and you go, this is just pizza from the mall. I truly do not think that Sabaro is that bad. And again, this is not like an office gag. Sabaro looking at the pizzas, just unappetizing. I get that, right? Behind the glass doesn't look good. You don't want to eat any of those things. But keep in mind, folks, they take those slices uh-huh. and they put them back in the oven. <laughs> they crisp, they crisp back up the bottoms 
it goes into that brick oven. You get that woodsy brick oven taste. Oh, what the whole the I don't <laughs> I don't think there's actual wood in there. I'm just maybe a, the, too much fungi. OK. Anyway, the point is the slice gets crisped back up and it is if you eat it in the moment, the the instant it comes out of that and you ask, uh, excuse me, don't put it in the box. Just put it straight in my mouth. That is the moment in which Sabaro is edible. Sure. And. I don't think it. I don't think it should be number twenty. We're gonna find out why as we okay. go through the rest of these. Number before, nineteen. B- well, before you get to well, number nineteen, Kyle. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't need to actually hear anything else about <laughs> good orange if, Julius. If we're, okay, all right. <laughs> I've got some orange Julius uh, trivia here. Founder Julius Freed, founded in nineteen twenty six. In two thousand eight, the number of locations they had was fifty seven hundred, but the number of employees was. 2,362 for an average of fewer than one employee per store. (laughs) So so they're incredibly understaffed. So how I need (laughs) to investigate. We need to understand how this worked. But here's the best part. Did one employee work multiple stores on different days or different shifts (laughs) on the same day? For different stores. I don't know. Are they are they close enough to create a mesh network of Orange Julius's where (laughs) where and by you could travel from one to another? Are there portals between Julius's? (laughs) Yes. Um, They were acquired by Dairy Queen in Ah. 1999. But the parent organization it's actually organizations because I guess it was a joint venture between Dairy Queen, International Dairy Queen Incorporated and... Warren Buffett's favorite, Berkshire Hathaway. Oh, oh boy. I've never had a <laughs> beverage from there before. So, okay, let's I don't see. Know locations, what it would taste like. locations. Let's just look up my area. It's at the mall. Let's look up uh, 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 random 55520. There's no Dairy Queen within, or there's no. DQ locations within 25 miles of there. Okay, let's just look up what, what was that Wichita that we were talking about earlier? We've only covered two of 21. All right. Yeah, I, we were just curious if they had done uh, non-mall areas. You don't need to explain that to me. Okay. I, Number- I, <laughs> we're going to have to cut a lot of this out then. Number 19, Jamba Juice. I mean, it's just like colder Orange Julius. <laughs> With powders. With yeah. powders. I like uh, to get the uh, the Starburst flavors. I've also never been to a Jamba Juice in the mall. That's a distinction Oh, here. that's true. Yes, 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 yes. That's also true. I have they've not they've only the really the ever been like in... And would you call a... I'm thinking mall like food court, you know, or like indoor, indoor mall. This is not you can't be like outdoor mauling this. OK. That's what animals do. They outdoor mall. Right. Of course. Uh, number 18 subway. Not fair. Subway. That's not fair. There's too many subways literally everywhere. You can't consider it just a mall place. It Agreed. shouldn't have it shouldn't have a place on this on this list but then again as we get as we get further into this list i'm going to be saying that a lot yep the photograph here in fact depicts someone with carry-on luggage and this is definitely an airport (laughs) that's definitely an airport for sure but but in a mall i can understand why this would be maybe on the bottom of the list you don't want you're walking around the mall you don't want to carry a foot long sub around with you as you're trying on clothes in the Mervyn's. Wait a second. Is that <laughs> Mervyn's not in the mall? Uh, Actually, is that your, is that your you know level? What? Kyle, is Have that your you... level here? That if you get food from one of these uh, items on this list, mm-hmm. then it has to be uh, traversable in the mall. Like it's carry on food only. You don't get to sit down and eat it. Well, no, you are sitting down. Um, but what you need to do in the mall is turn a dressing room stall into your own private <laughs> dining room. And I guess I'll take the, a booth with <laughs> just size 36 pants, please. Just 
Just one, please. Yes. Just me. Me alone with my sandwich <laughs> in the dressing room. It's the only uh, way to that go. That is a sad short story. Uh, number 17, Panera. Not, no. No, you don't. Panera is too large of a of a, an endeavor to put it into a mall. What, how big is this mall? There's so much going on at a, at a Panera bread. So much going on. It's mostly mac and cheese, though, right? No. It's soups. And sand sandies. Soups and sandies at Panera. There, you can take okay. that. You can you can throw that on you to can, the commercials. You can have that. I again, once again, Panera is more of an outdoor mall thing, so I, I am disqualifying it. There instantly. is a drive-through Panera in my city. Well, there you go. There you go. Number sixteen, Panda Express. Okay, there is a Panda Express at my mall's food court, and yes, I would say definitely. that this deserves a higher spot. I'm with you. I think that it. I it, agree. It's. <laughs> Kyle completely just, Kyle just uh, uh put in the frame his his cat and it, it threw me off a little bit um yeah Panda Express is like it's quick service um Chinese food but you know it's very Americanized Chinese food so but it's really easy to like walk in pun intended uh walk in oh my gosh <laughs> Number 15, Mrs. Fields Original Cookies. Now you're taking over. That's fine with me. Mrs. Uh, Fields Original Cookies. I don't think that I've seen this in a mall. But the photo clearly shows a food court, right? And nobody's in line. It does. uh, They have people in every other place. look, look, after a long day of just shopping your face off no one has the stomach for a cookie they have a they have the stomach for a meal plus a cookie you're always secondary though yeah i this would be this would be the snack or the the place that you go and then you walk around you said it you said it you said snack it is a snack it is this is definitely dressing room food (laughs) This is if you don't want to fit into the clothes you just picked to try on. Um, or if you is... want an entire tin of cookies, oh my God. which seems like excessive. It's a get. That's a that's a gift, right? <laughs> that's a that's you a thing you get. All. It just is not a it's not a meal. It's unless unless they start doing. Like turkey dinner cookies or. Chicken, like, like the cookies. everlasting, everlasting gobstopper of cookies, like meals. What, what were those called? Squares. The the meal squares. The yeah. The like chicken that they right. turned into another square, right? And grilled it. Just a cookie. Just is that a cookie? That's I guess the question. Oh, that's a right? good. That's a good question. A savory it, cookie. Is it a savory cookie? I think that the Mrs. Fields should be within, like the Macy's. Don't put it in the food court. It's competing with all the other food places. Put it in the place where I'm like, I don't really want to go too far to the food court just to get a a cookie place right here in Macy's. Does a cookie place need to have a sit down and eat it right away? No option. No, that's a That's a take it with you thing, right? It's a take it with you and you should finish it before you sit down. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Uh, True. Yes. 14 Johnny Rockets. What they're calling the original hamburger. What? I so Johnny Rockets is definitely not one we had in our hometown, but this is I, I have seen plenty of them on the outsides of a mall, like near the entrance or exit of a mall area. Yeah. Never I've never actually been in one. I gotta say I've though, I've never Kyle, been tempted to walk into one. The photo here that they have of a Johnny Rockets here at the bottom is at Yankee Stadium. That's not a mall. That's that's a stadium. Or is it? <laughs> uh, no, Kyle, this is a stadium. There are pictures of baseball above the Johnny Rockets logo there. Everybody is wearing Yankees jerseys or jackets. 
And uh, are you seeing a different image than what I'm seeing? Uh, okay, so they got the Johnny Rockets um, in the mall. Then they got the the employees holding up their hands, and then the one under that is Yankee Stadium. Oh, I see that. Okay, I had to scroll. <laughs> why? Why have three photos of? This? Okay, I don't know. Number thirteen, Kyle, <laughs> the Cheesecake Factory, or as we like to call it, the Diarrhea Factory. I don't <laughs> think I've ever called it that. If I'm being honest. Oh, that's what it's called in my household. I I am more like my brain. Like I like the cheesecake factory. No, Kyle, no. I, I do. I Kyle, do. No. But no, don't go to the cheesecake factory unless you are just buying something from the display window. Okay? Unless you're just buying the cheesecake that's on display. That's I've fine. never mm, nope. See, never if had you're going a cheesecake. For a, an entree or an appetizer yes. from uh-huh. their three hundred page menu. Yes. Don't eat that food. It's been in the freezer for who knows how many months. It's fine. It's so long as it's just absolutely demolished. Everything by a is fryer. fried. Yes. Yeah. Everything yeah, is yeah, 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 But yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. it's like one KD pool fryer. That they just dump all the food in and then I'm fish okay. out with with fishing nets. Fine by me. I I don't mind. <laughs> That's a really big fryer. I like the I like the visual. Number twelve. The no no. Oh, okay. All right. Back to number thirteen. The cheesecake factories, fried macaroni and cheese balls, are otherworldly. Sure. Uh, number 12. Don't Mo's. you agree? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, Kyle. Kyle was just uh, provided a a after show treat. So if you want to listen to the uh, post show recording, you should. Go- five dollars. You got to pay me five dollars now. <laughs> that's the only way. Venmo. <laughs> Venmo. Yep. Do it. That's. Nope. send. Send it to me and his cat. Uh, number twelve, Moe's Southwest Grill. Huh? What? Who? What? I don't. I've never heard of this. This is just a picture of boring ranch dressing and boring Skip tortilla it. chips. Okay, Skip good. it. No one cares. Number eleven, A and W. A and W. What? Did you know that A and W stands for Allen and Wright? Nope. It stands for root and beer. And- <laughs> They just don't know how to spell. Ah, uh, and ooh, 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 root beer. Good root beer. <laughs> I like A and W, but not at the we mall. Have, I have an A and W here in in the in the place I am. Not now, but in the I drive in to my it. house over. I live in an A and W. My roommates are Alan and Wright. And right, yeah. Number ten. I didn't, oh. I didn't know that you you asked the question and I didn't. Uh, that's okay. I didn't know. It, it doesn't matter. Um, but I like that. I like that's a good choice. Again, I don't think that's a a mall place. That's it's nope. just fast food that yep. happens to be in the mall. But nope. this one is egregious. Number ten, McDonald's. What? What? You put McDonald's above Sabaro that much? It's not special. It's, it's not. not a, it's not a special thing. This is the like. You. There's there's McDonald's in Walmart's. There are McDonald's attached to other department stores. It's mm-hmm. not a mall place. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. It's it's not good. I I think it's not good. But that's just Meow. that's just us here all complaining about it. Next one nine. Hagen does. Okay on board with this one although number nine seems kind of low i feel like this should be way higher right higher higher being less number or higher being up the page like to be a number that's close (laughs) there's just so much there's so much complaining about uh about ice cream in a mall i like hagen ice cream I don't what? like the idea oh. of ice cream. 
Okay, can't imagine, go away. Though, imagine, <laughs> Im- imagine, though, if you had the Mrs. Fields right <gasps> next to the Haggadahs. Oh, that's and they a say, good... no, 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 no. Just high five me and we'll put the cookie to the ice cream. You need a cookie on the other side, too. So maybe we need three hands. Anyway, yes. what we'll make is a sandwich. A Haggadahs Mrs. Fields cookie mm. sandwich. Mm, love it. Let's go on to number eight, Kyle. Wendy's. Wendy's? Mm -hmm. Come on, BuzzFeed. What are you doing here? Wendy's is not a mall food. Wendy's is a fast food chain with literally thousands of standalone restaurants that aren't in malls. So this should not be included on a mall food list. I'm with you. Uh, I, I just disqualified, instantly disqualified in my number opinion. Number seven, Cinnabon. Oh boy. Cinnabon is the place that you walk by as you enter or exit the food court. And you go, we're stopping there on the way out. And then as you leave the food court, you go, I'm too full to eat Cinnabon, but maybe, mm. I, maybe I could go for a Cinnabon. Cinnabon to me is only a smell. <laughs> I think they have I think they have candles actually. They don't sell food. They only <laughs> It's make only it. the aroma. It's free smells on your on your way through the mall. Okay. <laughs> uh, Cinnabon. Okay, there there's Kyle's tag. Uh, number six, Dippin' Dots. Uh, okay. The photo they're using here is clearly from 2001. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it also Dippin' Dots have not changed since 2001. Dippin' Dots is weird because Dippin' Dots is like all promotion only. Like it exists at theme parks, at the mall, at airports, but you can't like buy dip and dots otherwise it's very exclusive to like entertainment areas you need special freezers to keep those balls hard you know i don't, I don't they have that. to be they have to be like that you got to be able to shake the entire container so that the the dip and dots don't stick to one another that's I, i'm okay that's with this being on this list though way because at this point, that's what the list, that's what the, this ranking has become is sure it, it, it can't exist on the list because number five, Taco Bell, excuse me, what? So here's the thing, though, with Taco Bell, some of the best experiences I've ever had at a Taco Bell have not been alone in my car like I might have <laughs> which said, are the worst, experiences. which which are may no possibly second best. Oh, the best experience i've had with the taco bell was with the taco bell express oh uh, wait but this is no no, no this the is not tiniest, listed as taco bell express this is just listed as taco bell i'm i'm ha- yes except i think this photograph is of a taco bell express that's true that's true and it was a different idea. It was a different concept. It was like all around the value menu and limited options. It's like if you turned Taco Bell into in and out or into a prefixed menu. <laughs> right. You choose they, from they literally only options. have five ingredients. Tortillas, Correct. That's beans, it. ground mm-hmm. beef, cheese, yes. and lettuce. Uh-huh. That's it. Right. That's it. All every item that they can make with just those five ingredients, that's what you get. Mm-hmm. I will make an exception for a fast food experience okay. in a mall right. or the Taco Bell Express. I will not. I will not let anyone else in. Okay. That's cool. Number four, <laughs> steak and shake. Eh. Uh not eh. not around me. This is this is not a thing. I've heard that that's good, I guess, but eh. again, this isn't this isn't at the mall, is it? Is this really at the mall? Number three, Sarku, Japan. What? So this, 
I'm we super had, confused. We had something similar to this in the mall. So you're going to the movies. Uh huh. Right? Going to the movies. You're going to the movies. Thank you. You get you get dropped off or uh-huh. you dr- you drive. I don't know. It depends. I, I forget when when this happened. I drop you, off my car. That's fine. Whatever. You you the car is no. You are out of it now. <laughs> you walk through. Uh huh. To to your left, you see the hometown buffet. Right, which has been closed for three years. Got it. <laughs> so so you, you walk through, you look to your right, you Somebody realize... Somebody spit in the mac and cheese, and they had to uh, close down. Go ahead. That's, that's horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm if they, that up. If they fried it, it would have been fine. It Just been turn fine. them into balls, <laughs> fry it. It'll be fine. Cheesecake Factory macaroni and cheese balls are just <laughs> spit on mac and are cheese just from hometown buf- <laughs> hometown buffet macaroni and cheese trays scooped and then refried <laughs> into. Oh my god! <laughs> that, that product. Hey, look, it's unlimited. It's free. It's like it's a perpetual it's energy free. machine. It's it is. <laughs> they just get some. They get someone. To always be in the hometown buffet. <laughs> and they perpetually get macaroni and cheese. Are you saying that after I eat the Cheesecake Factory macaroni and cheese balls, I then go to work at <laughs> hometown buffet and I I conjure up more mac and cheese? No, no, no. You're a patron of the hometown buffet. Okay. You are taking that, pocketing it. <laughs> And taking it over to your other Why is job. It in my pockets. It's the only way to take it's it. So, so they gross. don't know. So they don't notice it's you. So slimy. Why are you? Please don't. Oh no! You're stepping all over everything. Uh oh! Kitty cat. Kitty cat on the prowl. So you walked through. The, we're only through the front doors now. You walk through <laughs> the front doors. You're in. You're in the corridor, right? Mm-hmm. The yeah, one yeah, yeah. where there's there's doors behind you and there's doors in front of this you. This is to a the, terrifying experience. <laughs> to the to the right, you remember that there used to be payphones there, and you you wonder what happened to them. Yeah, then, and then I also see that there's a carousel inside hmm. the mall, and I'm like, who's that for? It's for me one time when I'm like 12, just to see how it is. It's not fun. It's terrifying. Nope. All eyes on you. And then they, you walk through that second set of doors and you see the movie theater to your left. Okay. Right. Sort of like in front to the left. Sure, a sure, little sure, bit. sure, 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 sure. To the right, to the direct right of that movie theater. Yeah. Is a spot that makes rice bowls, teriyaki chicken bowls. That place is what I'm conjuring in my mind for okay. sort of a mishmash of Asian fusion, you know, Japan flavors. So All basically just rice, teriyaki overload. Yeah, rice, a teriyaki protein, and maybe some stir fry vegetables. Bingo. Just that's what they serve. I don't think I would rank that number three. I don't get this ranking. I frequented it a lot this frequently. Person, this person says they thank them for all of the free samples they've had over the years. I used to pace back and forth across the food court just to snag an extra piece of teriyaki chicken. But seriously, those teriyaki plates were unreal. After a long afternoon of waiting in the H&M dressing room line, this was the perfect See? mall meal. What, what? This ranking, this is not something you put on the internet. I'm sorry. This is like a Tumblr blog. Wow. We've spent 30 minutes talking about it, so well, we're that's just a, ripping it apart. That's number, a thing. Number two, Rainforest Cafe. <clears throat> Those went out of business, I thought. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. This there's. I've never seen a mall with this in it. I've seen Disneyland. <laughs> that's the only place I've seen a Rainforest Cafe. I, yeah, like the here in san francisco oh like yeah, that's, that's the true. only that's the only other place i've ever seen one yeah so they're they're a rarity weird, and I weird mall not, you've been to lady. i just don't like it's an experience i just can't imagine walking into a rainforest cafe with all of the just moistness of the oh. entire 
ambiance with Ugh. with bags, right? With just bags of things, of gifts and clothing and all of the things that you might want to give to someone. Yes. Kyle, number one on this list. Ho, 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 ho. Hi, Kenny. It's me, Santa Claus, Jesus. calling from the North Pole. I'm so happy to talk to you, Kenny. Now, do you know what day is almost here? Uh huh. Yes, that's right. Yep. It's Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, boy. Kenny, now that you're 25 years old. Ugh. <laughs> Goody. Kyle, number one on this yeah. list. Mm hmm. Of of the twenty one best mall restaurants ranked by the expert Hannah DeBragas, I don't know how to say her last name. Auntie Anne's pretzels, and you're gonna get no argument from me. Nope, totally fine with this. I would actually put as a uh, rank between rank one and two, or maybe instead of Rainforest Cafe, Wetzel's pretzels. One of the other greatest. Uh, food items you can get in a mall. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. pretzel mm -hmm. place other than Auntie Anne's? Sure, but Auntie Anne's. Boom, top of the list. Yes. Can't go wrong with your no doubt. Your pizza pretzel. Do they make a churro pretzel? Uh, Yeah, I think they have cinnamon pretzels. Yeah. No, I wouldn't no, no, would no, consider no, no, it a no. churro pretzel, though. No, 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 no. You, you want a understand. churro that has been bended, bent, in, <laughs> bended, bent into a pretzel shape? Well... What what is I, what is the want? Phys what is physically, the, uh... I physically I do not think that would be possible. What I would like is for a, a almost like a water slide what? to be created for the churro batter to slide <laughs> through into the shape <laughs> like of a mold, a pretzel. Yeah, but it's more like a water. It's like a luge, but for that's that's not a thing. Churro batter. Okay. And you pass that, it through Kyle, it. That exists at like a steel mill. Is that what you're That's talking fine. about? If we need to, if we need to <laughs> die cast this, then we will. You need to die cast the pretzel, the pretzel churro. And I want to eat it. Okay. I need the ridges. You know, I need the like churro shape. Uh huh. So that it gets all the cinnamon and sugar inside of that thing. But I want, I like, I like the parts of the pretzel that overlap with one another. So they're like moist in between, you know, uh, stop with the moist in between vernacular here. Let's move on, Kyle. It looks like you added some pancake news. Pancake news. <laughs> yeah. Pancake news. I've I've we, we have this because because. I have a feeling that this weekend. Yeah, we're about to embark on pancake challenge 2021. Yeah, 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 Eat yeah, it yeah. and it explodes in your mouth. We may explode. <laughs> it's not going to explode in our mouths. N nope. <laughs> nope. Just maybe onto the table. Uh, we will be embarking on the pancake challenge to see which of us can eat the most number of pancakes. Hopefully I didn't say that loud enough for the whole <laughs> entire house to hear <laughs> and, and hear about the plans. And know what's coming. Yeah, oh, my wife thinks it's a dubious plan that I should not. Uh, I should not she knows I'll on. win. Yeah, she knows I'll mm, win. No, she knows how competitive I am. And that I don't stop eating when I'm full. Right. And that I can eat too much. Right, but not, but not enough to keep up with me. <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> the, in pancake news... According to the takeout flipped by IHOP mm -hmm. wants to be the Chipotle of all day breakfast. And we just got an update. The first flipped is now open in drum roll, please. Kansas. God. Oh, man. So far away. But we this we we put the Kansas energy into the room <sighs> and it happened okay that's pre that's pre that's pre-show was that pre-show i can't remember anymore it's all a blur we did yeah we did talk about kansas I can't, in the pre-show right kansas oswaldo osborne <laughs> <laughs> that happened everybody 
<laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> yes, it is. <sighs> anyway. What? Okay, so just remind me, what is flipped by IHOP? So it's, it's got like... like no 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 no. you tell me yeah go ahead you were about to no i was i was gonna throw out my my hypothesis is it like build your own breakfast it is yeah build your own pancake bowls and other all day essentials uh so it's it's a mixture of of things but a pancake bowl is not what you might dream it to be a bowl which is a pancake in fact it is a bowl filled with pancakes oh, man i really wanted to build are, a pancake bowl mm-hmm. you're adding toppings on top it seems like all of the foods are bold to be quite honest pancakes in bowls burgers mm. in bowls mm. salads in bowls it should be called bold not flip i like that because it when you just say it all together also, mm. it sounds like you're just saying, "Oh, bold. Ooh, bold. I hop bold. Bold, That's bold very move. I hop. Robust. You can, you can have it. You can have it. I hop. I'll give it to you. I hop flavor. Yeah. 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 Kyle, let's do some headlines. These are today's headlines. Headlines. Oh. Headlines. Headlines. Oh, headlines. Oh, boy. Headlines. Headlines. I just didn't. I you didn't did not the, mute that one. No, I just I didn't. I didn't want to have to pay the royalties for uh, the uh, the contract that we couldn't, you know, sign uh, here going into season two. So. Oh uh, right, right. Uh, what? Uh, what are uh, these? Are your headlines? That's the new one. Uh, Amazon, Kyle. They announced a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to go over here, including Ooh. including the Echo Show 15 Apple Fitness Plus competitor. And more. But starting off, we have what is probably their most, I don't know, I don't want to say noteworthy, but their most flashy. Mm -hmm. It's the Astro Household Robot. Uh, It's like putting... Darko? It's like putting an Alexa on your Roomba, I guess. I don't really know. This is like 15... No, it's it's, it's like putting a Jibo on... A room on the floor as well. Yes. <laughs> did wait? Jibo moved. G- no, Jibo did not move. Jibo was stationary. You, mm, yeah. Did anybody put a Jibo on a Roomba? I don't think Jibo launched. No, you're right. Astro is an Alexa integrated home robot that can monitor the home, help users keep in touch with family, and more. Astro can move about the room, check on specific areas, and show a live view of rooms when the homeowner is away. Plus, it can be used to remotely care for elderly relatives. Like Jibo was supposed to? Or right? is No, now. no, no. What yes. was, uh, Pepper. Pepper was supposed to be the one uh, for elder care, right? Because it was supposed to be like companion. In a mall. In a mall, that's the... Oh, yeah, Pepper him- in the mall. Uh, Astro integrates with Ring and can uh, autonomously patrol the home with the Ring Protect Pro service. It has full Alexa functionality and also a personality that makes it, quote, feel like a part of the family. No, no, this is a terror robot that will that will sneak up on you at night and uh, enter your nightmares. I, uh, yeah, the only screen that they show in these in multiple screenshots here. It are two circular they're just like lines white lines on it's like black cat, background it's like, cat, it's like cartoon cat eyes right uh, i know they're just it's two circles i know but just, that's it looks like a cat's looking at me but this the thing that gets me is that this looks like <clears throat> a bunch of different <clears throat> <laughs> Kyle, no, Astro got to you. <laughs> You're being muzzled by your Amazon. The thing that oh, now now oh, I'm back. Oh, yeah, yeah. the thing. The hey, Astro. How's, how's <laughs> Isn't Astro the name of the kid from the Jetsons? I don't know. Can't keep can't keep track anymore. The thing that gets me about this is that. Astro's head looks like it was just attached to to a the robot. body, yeah. and it's it like it's it that was a different product, and then the little camera that's on top of it that was a ring product, a wholly and completely separate product. This is and definitely the, a prototype that accidentally got released. I, maybe right? Yeah, this looks like a brainstorm. 
This couldn't possibly be a real product, but it is for the low, low price of fourteen hundred and fifty dollars. Mm, no. Yeah, no. I know. Wait, that's crazy. Uh, considering how uh, cheap their other Amazon products are. Echo Show 15 is the other product. It's designed to serve as a central communications and entertainment hub for the family with a 15.6 inch display that can be mounted on a wall or set on a counter. Okay, so if you want like a like a home hub that is in a central location, but you don't have counter space, boom, slap it on the wall like a picture frame. I like that. But the 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 thing with these wall mounted uh, systems, uh-huh. you have to you have to power it somehow. Oh, that's right. Right. Just drill into the into the wall. Who knows? Through there's, the, there's power f- flowing through the walls. Who knows? <laughs> Just throw some wires in there. Uh, it's going to be two hundred fifty dollars, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna skip. Uh, I'm gonna skip their little Disney thing mm, that they that they mm, did a promotion with. I'm okay, gonna go on to the right. Amazon Glow. It's a projector based interactive device that provides activities for children to do on video calls with relatives and friends. That's right. It's another screen for your toddler. Barf. No, thank you. I also this is mm. it's so, what a weird product. It's only marketed to kids that can talk with their family. Yeah, well, can I? I'm an adult. Can I please use this for something useful? This. Uh, hmm. Can I play little Sesame Street games while I'm on a video call for work? <laughs> can I use it that way? I mean, mm, mm, right? I, I like that. This this to me seems like something that grew out of, oh, we need to make some kind of video hardware for for the children for. For being able to talk to family Mm. and it's coming out 12 months too late. Yeah, this should have been launched April 2020. Um, Moving on, Kyle, the ring product line is getting upgraded with a drone. I've seen this. It's called the always home cam. It's $250. Mm -hmm. It's a drone that can fly around your house and give you a camera feed. I don't like this. I don't like that we're putting flying robots in our house. What's that? Who's this for? Who who (laughs) needs a robot to roam around the house? Mm, Go ahead. You with the okay. I don't know. I don't know who needs this. I don't know who needs this. It's just a. It's for people who want to have the things. Ring Ring Alarm Pro. That's another product from Ring. No, 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 no. We got to talk about the drone. Okay, we got go to talk about the drone. the drone. Okay. Yeah, the, drone. the thing with this drone is that it's only doing cool stuff when you're not home and you don't get to watch it. <laughs> you don't get to That's see it do its stuff. The worst part. Okay. You don't. You don't get to see any of it flying around you don't get going like into its docking thing no you definitely get to see it when you come home and it's on the floor and it's torn apart by the dog correct yeah that's that's what you get to see if it's much like my Roomba named Rhonda she's just stuck under the table now and doesn't know how to get home right but then you get a camera feed of it goody uh like I said before ring alarm pro which is I guess they're a simply safe competitor it's priced at $250. It comes with built-in Wi-Fi router functionality. It connects to the Ring cameras that are also in the home to store the Ring video footage locally. Well, that's nice. And integrates with third-party products like door locks, smoke alarms, and more. Okay. All right. All right. They're opening mm. up. They're kind of opening it up to, to third-party stuff. They're combining. They're combining things. They're combining things from Ring. They're combining things from Eero. Yeah. They're combining, you know, the ring and Amazon robot things. Now it's it's all so all becoming one. So their their fitness plus com- competition stuff here. They got the Halo View, which is a new wrist worn device I'm with an AMOLED display. Any of these names? I know. How am I supposed to remember the Alarm Pro? Always home cam glow. So so with this eighty dollar Halo View. Uh, wearable it um is coming with halo fitness service hold on i have a sneeze 
Oh boy. How are they not going to be? That was a big sneeze. How oh are they boy. not going to be instantly sued by Microsoft? Well, actually, it's also the the wrist worn Halo band, which it was released previously, was also criticized for its invasiveness and lack of privacy features. So not only will they get yeah, not only will they get sued by uh, Microsoft for the name infringement, but then also by all of their users. Uh, so anyway, there's a fitness service, which is supposed to be, I guess, identical to fitness plus and offer blah, 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 fitness plus stuff. Who cares? And then the last thing is Alexa together is a subscription service that is designed to help aging family members feel more comfortable living alone while also giving their families access to check in on them. Alexa together includes a 24 seven urgent response option that connects to emergency services and remote assist lets family members manage caregiving from afar. It's priced at $20 a month and what you are trusting robots to take care of your family. I don't get this. No, you all, all they're trying to do is destroy life alert. That's <laughs> all this is. This is a play to get rid of any nineties infomercial companies. I've fallen and I can't get up. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Thanks, Amazon, for all of these products, which I will overlook entirely because uh, they are too underpriced for me to take seriously. And then also the robot was too overpriced. And I don't want Amazon in my house. In fact, you know what? I feel like I've relied too much on home integrated services like the Uh-oh. Google stuff. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh-oh. I just no, no. It's not like a problem, but when I when I talk about like new products, like all this stuff from Amazon, I'm thinking mm-hmm. I can I can survive without this stuff. I don't need I don't need all my in, all my devices in the house don't need to be internet connected. I don't need to have everything monitored like that. I don't need to have I, let me just use a light switch. Who cares? And then I walk into my office and I need to get the show started, and I have one term to turn on all the devices and get them in the correct settings and. Oh, okay, yeah, that's why I do this. <laughs> that's why mm-hmm. I that's why I have all the Google stuff. So for me, it's it's definitely the getting in bed after a long day, and I'm like, oh man, every single light in the house is on right now. Every Am single go, one. Every single one of them. Am I going to go around <laughs> and, and click all of them off? I don't think so. Why are they all like, on? I'm, why don't you turn them off when you go to bed? Oh, no, no, Why are you no, going that's... to bed when they're all on? I don't get this. I walk into the bedroom to say good night, and then I want the lights off. No, no, and no. And no, I realize no, no. they're on still. No, no, you, you've you've missed the point, Kyle. Why are you leaving a room? Why are you leaving the lights on in the room when you're leaving? It's all kind of one big room. <laughs> God. You know your house is weird. Anyway, We're Kyle. All... Mm, can we can we it. do what today's special? It's almost like I was ready to press it, and I knew already <laughs> so what you good. were going to say. Wow, we've done so many of these. A full season's worth. It's, yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, finally, in our second season, we've got kind of a, the, we're building the chemistry. We've got, uh, we've just, we've got this working. That's right, Kyle. And today's special is... National Coffee Day. But we can't talk about today because we're just going to argue. Right? No, we're not. You, oh, God. <laughs> you almost triggered me. <laughs> you almost got me to go, yes! <laughs> uh, I, did not, I did not do too much research about this. In fact, I did none research about this. Mm. But I do want to find out if there are places that celebrate national coffee day by providing discounted or free coffees so let's find out let's go national likely coffee yes. day. if i, ha- if I Promotions, had to guess maybe let's take a look here national coffee day deals how to get free coffee this says i'm, I'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess okay. 7-eleven 7-eleven is the first thing here that says if you are a loyalty member you get a free hot coffee in any size Including their new coffee lineup, Fall Pumpkin Coffee and Pumpkin Spice Latte. 
with the purchase of a baked good. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. You can also do it through the delivery app, the 7-Eleven delivery via 7Now app. That's a weird way to say all of that. This article, uh, Atlas Coffee Club, they're doing a free bag of coffee or a first bag of coffee free to any new subscriber. So I'm going to just include this link into the notes so you guys can check it out. Uh, brew cup or sorry, bear organics brew cups. They do something with coffee pods, barf Barnes and Noble. Uh, they do. Wow. 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 Yeah. They're going to do a free Starbucks tall coffee, hot or iced at cafe stores only on September 20, 29th in 2020. Okay. So this article was written. <laughs> hold on. This article mm. was written yesterday in preparation so they're saying that the promotion did occur last year so they're just go ask guessing just ask yeah they're guessing it's gonna happen again um mm-hmm. i'm gonna skip through here to say uh, caribou coffee is gonna do something with their stuff for perks members if you're one of those circle k is gonna celebrate by offering customers a free cup of hot or iced coffee you can text free to 31310 to receive a digital coupon for a free cup of coffee to redeem only on wednesday september 29th also, they have to participate in the promotion. So don't just go to a one Circle K and go, I want coffee. Let me send you a text message. You got to find out. Uh, moving on here. Let's see. Dunk. Oh, dang it. Duck donuts. Not Dunkin' Donuts, but duck donuts. I don't know what this place is, but they're going to give you some free coffee. Oh, Dunkin' is the next one. Okay, let's see. They are going to celebrate today by, oh, DD Perk members can get a free medium hot or iced coffee with any purchase. DD Perk member? That's mm-hmm. what their loyalty program is called? DD Perk? What? Gross. Uh, Dutch Bros. They are going to give, oh, this is weird. This is a weird promotion. 100 customers, one year of free Dutch Brothers. Customers who scan their Dutch pass on the Dutch Bros app every time you buy a favorite drink or redeem a reward can instantly win a free drink every day for a whole year. We're now we are now like in coffee loyalty program territory where all we're doing is just talking. Well, all you're doing is just talking about what's available. I did not expect there to be so many of these. It's a lot. It's It's a lot. Jack in the box. You can get a jumbo egg roll. (laughs) <laughs> i figured you'd like that one can the you, op- can the you code, imagine jumbo roll 2021 no. with a free regular <laughs> coffee <laughs> you know what here we go listeners <laughs> listeners forget the tim tam slam bring on the egg roll jam into a coffee you take the egg roll, you suck the you suck the hot coffee through the egg roll. <laughs> oh my god. That just tastes like vomit. That just instantly. <laughs> you just Tim Tam slammed an egg roll. Uh-huh. Gross. With coffee. Hot coffee. Uh McDonald's. There's a bunch of rewards program stuff, but they say that they're going to do a premium roast coffee or an iced coffee at just 99 cents. Oh, through December 31st. Are, That's not are really we celebrating today. Are we done now? <laughs> I'm trying to find one of the uh, last. Oh, Starbucks. Here we go. Starbucks kicked off festivities festivities early. Uh, get that word right. On Wednesday, September 22nd, members who use the Starbucks app could to order any handcrafted beverage were automatically sent a coupon that can be used toward a free drink to enjoy. None of this is related to today. Bummer. So if you wanted to go to a Starbucks and say, hey, I want to get a free coffee for coffee day, they're going to look at you weird and say every day is coffee day here at Starbucks. And and that's that's how you get rid of that. I wanted to let you in on a Christmas secret. How you're doing on my naughty and nice list. Oh. Won't that be fun? Yes. 
Wait, I want to know. <laughs> First of all, yeah. you're doing a great job taking care of Garco. Thank you. The elves in the Garco? workshop have been talking about it for weeks. Oh, really? Oh, and Mrs. Claus was so happy to hear how well you've been coming up with trivia questions, oh. reading the National Day, and yeah. being a soundboard. Kenny, huh? you're well on your way to the nice list. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Right. Thanks, Santa. Now, there's one thing oh. I need you to work on, Kenny. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Please get more sleep. Uh-oh. And... Something about eating sardines. <laughs> Could you do that for me? <laughs> oh, of course you can. I think there's no question about it, Kenny. You have made it Shut to up, the nice Santa. list. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Kyle, you included <clears throat> a, a, a quite a few uh, food-related articles here that we are not going to be able to cover. No. But I'd like you to pick your favorite that we can close out the show on. Ooh, from the from the news one or from the from other any one? of the ones that you've included uh, that we have not talked about, like the IHOP one and the twenty one mall restaurant thing that took up half the show. Meow. We we need your to cats talk, are noisy tonight. I, I know. Yep. Um, we need to talk about. Uh, uh, <laughs> we do need to talk about. You know what? This one, this is something that we haven't done for a long time. New York foodies have made a Guinness World Record for longest charcuterie board. What does that mean? Longest? Long. It's a it's a long one. Okay. Okay. And okay, I'm looking at this. So they were planning to do this last year. They okay. wanted to get together. They wanted to put together uh, 315 foodies is the name of the group, apparently. And they were going to announce a plan. They did announce a plan to, the, to do this in September of 2020, but they weren't able to do it. So this year, uh, two days ago, three days ago, or many days ago, depending on when you're listening to this, over 100 volunteers gathered at a park. And annihilated the previous Guinness World Record for longest charcuterie platter. Okay. The prior, the prior record was set in Chicago in 2019, 150 feet long. Okay. This new one, uh huh, much like the foodies' name, 315.3 feet long. Okay. Um. Very long meat. Okay, so is. Is the I'm trying to think of what the like the feat is that they've that they've accomplished here. Is it the fact that they've been able to load up that much like deli stuff just on a piece of wood? Or is it that somebody created a football field long board and mm-hmm. then they just loaded up a bunch of salami and stuff? Are you limited by the size of the tree <laughs> that you had to cut down? It's definitely a sequoia. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> that they fell. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they don't really provide too much uh too much information about how they went about doing it. And, and we'll include there's a channel two news uh article. It's oh, all goody. tables all connected together. That's not no 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna a local group that loves food attempted to get holy in the cow, get some energy records today. The 315 Foodies Facebook group got an awful lot of food together today. Do we sound like to that? To crush the current yes. world record no. for long charcuterie board. And they did it. The original and record was listed at 150 Boom. feet long, but the foodies wanted to double that and definitely break that record. The official length of the board was 315.3 oh. feet long. Was it the though? group gathered at that? Veterans Memorial Park in Little Falls. Charcuterie is the art of assembling meats and cheeses accompanied by fruits, nuts, and crackers for easy and quick hors d'oeuvres. And you serve them on a charcuterie board, just not as big as this one. It was great. I mean, it's, it's so chaotic this morning. There's a million different things going on, a million different moving parts. But uh, at the end of the day, we broke the record. 315 foodies, the 315 the record for the longest charcuterie board. What was chaotic? I think it'll be a long time before that's broken because this was a hell of a project. And of course, all of that food did not go to waste. People were able to buy tickets and sample the fine cuisine while enjoying the world record. What good? Yes, 
yes, excuse me. The world record. I should hey. I should not get mad at her because I can't talk for anything. <laughs> uh, but she also said that it was the longest board. But then you also mm. told me that it's just a bunch of tables put together. So which is <laughs> there's there's a board underneath. There's a, there's definitely a board underneath. No, I get that, Kyle. But is the board mm. a single 315 foot long board? Yes, it looks like it. OK, that's some cool. glued together. <sighs> OK, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, mm-hmm. I would buy all the tickets. Just myself, right? And I this was is just challenge your, myself to do your board. the entire they, thing. <laughs> they said we're not we're not going to put this. We're not going to waste any of this food. You, you got said, it. Challenge accepted. Not. Yep. Did you know? Uh, let's end the let's uh, let's end the show on this one, Kyle. Did you know they kept the man versus food show going on Travel Channel, just with a different guy? There's like a whole different guy who does that show now. Where's the food versus man is what I want to know. When when does the when does the food start fighting back? Oh, it definitely the, fights back after they the, stop filming. At the man, right? Is that the that's the one that comes after it? It's man versus food. This will be the challenge. The food to do, fights back. <laughs> I'm telling you, Kyle, it does <laughs> for sure. Especially that's what, the that's spicy what I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. I didn't know that though. Your question? No, I didn't. I did. I did not know that. I don't remember the. His name was Adam something. We'll find out for the next episode. Actually, you know what? We're gonna find out in the post show. Kyle's gonna eat some food, and I'm gonna find out all of the people who have done the man versus food hosting. That's probably just two guys. Okay. Uh, Patreon.com slash good stuff is where uh, you link your bank account and. Uh, <laughs> We Send still got to get Kyle onto TikTok, everybody. Recurring payments. Um, yeah. I, there, I've got a lot of, I got a lot of food news to go over next time. I got a lot of TikToks to go over next time. Oh, boy. So, um, I hope your week is good. Go try Sabaro. Just trust me. <laughs> I, you know, I should look ask for that list. Ask for a slice. Ask for a slice. Tell them to heat it. Don't just eat it cold. I swear. That's the, the worst. That's the worst way to have it. Heat it up. Get it. Sit down immediately in the spot where they hand it to you. Consume <laughs> in line. it in that moment, and it will be decent. I'm going to see if they have a national coffee day promotion, and uh, you get a coffee with it. Maybe not. No. Okay.